Pablo Batista and the Mambo Syndicate. and studied at Temple. So I did my, my undergrad, uh, I finished in 85 uh, with a, a bachelor's degree in, in liberal arts. As soon as I graduated, I began working with Grover Washington Jr. So on and off, and so I started basically my professional career in 1985 after, after graduating and um, it's toured with Grover for 17 years until his passing. Um, but I've also had the chance to work with a lot of other great um, Philadelphia artists like Teddy Pendergrass, um, Phyllis Hyman, uh, Regina Bell, uh, Patti LaBelle, Jill Scott. I started working with Alicia Keys. So and then that lasted for about 13 years, um, which we did everything, you know, toured all over, over the world, all around the world many times and <laughs> played the World Cup, which was really amazing. Um, South Africa and a lot of TV shows, a lot of award ceremonies and things, but I always had my own orchestra. I have a 11 piece salsa band, we play salsa duda, um, um, and I'm the leader, so it's kind of like driven um, from my perspective, the Congo player. You know, we've had a little buzz in Philadelphia, and um, somehow um, we were nominated to in the running for to perform for the program. And I got a phone call that uh, we were chosen. Um, Mambo Syndicate, so um, here we are. A uh, week before my birthday, uh, September 26th is when he comes in, and that's when we're scheduled to perform. I was born with, 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 with um, uh, nine disease RP, right, nine disease pigmentosa. So, you know, I was a kid and I knew I had it. I knew my vision would get worse, but I was always driven by music, so one, I, I did what I was passionate about, regardless of what whatever things I was going through in life, whether it was that or anything else, you know, sports or school or, you know, girls or anything. It was, you know, music was always something that I was born with kind of internally. And, you know, once I decided that that's what I wanted to do and I started studying it more formally and, you know, um, with the passion and, and that I wanted to get into it with, um, it kind of just opened my doors and you know it, it you know vision the vision thing never really became an issue um, it just you know makes life a little more difficult here and there getting around at times but I have a tech and I've been around the world nine nine or so times ten times touring with almost every artist uh, around so it's never been a real factor in my ability to do um, music if anything it probably enhanced my hearing because my hearing is pretty crazy it's one of the things that I'm you know my have a sense of hearing that's I anticipate things before they happen and it's just it's uh, been one of my gifts actually and in terms of music it's been more positive because of my ability to to hear things clear and and, and react to things a lot faster than most so I think that um you know it's a double-edged sword one two three